In this video, we'll show you how to set up a multicam with NinjaCast and live stream the production with Zardo Connect. So let's get all of this set up over here. So we've got the Ninja 5 Plus, we've got some media to cover storage options. Here we've got the cast module. Here we've got the Zato Connect. Just while we're at it, real quickly, I'll take you through the connections. We've got DC power coming in directly. We've got four HDMI inputs over here, which are the cameras in our studio. The program output of the cast module is connected to the input of the Zato Connect. So let's put all this together. So SSD goes in, let's remove this latch and we'll connect it over here and it docks in. Click that in and I'm gonna fire this up. So now's the NinjaCast powering up and the input on the Zardo Connect. The NinjaCast is where you add value to your productions. So it's a four input HDMI switcher. These inputs can be DSLRs, cinema cameras, any other input that's limited to a 1080p signal. You've also got the option to upload custom graphic overlays. And you know, over here, these, these custom overlays can be, you know, the branding of your company, that could be the name of your guests. And as you can see over here, you can pre-configure all of them and assign them to what you want it to be. The best way to get this in is like literally to design it on your computer, export it as a PNG with an alpha channel, put that onto a memory card, load it up and off you go. So you can also configure picture in picture when you're in F1 mode. So it's a nice little function to have on set when you want to cover two different angles on the same screen. You can see how you can, how James is just like changing between the different signals and you can get that on screen. So we've already connected the Zardo Connect to Wi-Fi, and we've established the connection in Atomos Cloud. Watch the video in the description below if you want to learn more on how to do that. Um, so we've set YouTube as a destination in Atomos Cloud. So now we're ready to live stream. So it's this simple. You just tap the live button, and that will commence your live stream. Thanks everyone for watching this video. And go get creative.